the most famous debating societies in the world. And on his feet at this moment, Malcolm X, one of the leaders of the black Muslims in America. Let's, for a moment, just hear a little of what he's saying. You make my point. <laughs> that as long as a white man does it, it's all right. A black man is supposed to have no feelings. <laughs> but when a black man strikes back, he's an extremist. He's supposed to sit passively and have no feelings, be nonviolent and love his enemy, no matter what kind of attack, be it verbal or otherwise, he's supposed to take it. But if he stands up and in any way tries to defend himself, <laughs> then he's an extremist. <laughs> no, I think that the, the day that the black man takes an uncompromising step and realizes that he's within his right when his own freedom is being jeopardized to use any means necessary to bring about his freedom or put a halt to that injustice, I don't think he'll be by himself. I live in America where there are only 22 million blacks against probably 160 million whites. One of the reasons that I'm in no way reluctant or hesitant to do whatever is necessary to see that black people do something to protect themselves, I honestly believe that the day that they do, many whites will have more respect for them and that there will be more whites on their side than are now on their side with these little wishy-washy, love thy, love thy enemy uh, approach that they've been using up to now. And if I'm wrong, then you are racialists. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you live in a society supposedly based upon law, and it doesn't enforce its own law because the color of a man's skin happens to be wrong, then I say those people are justified to resort to any means necessary to bring about justice where the government can't give them justice. I read once, passingly, about a man named Shakespeare. I only read about him passingly, but I remember one thing he wrote that kind of moved me. Uh, he put it in the mouth of Hamlet, I think it was, who said, to be or not to be. He was in doubt about something. <laughs> Whether it was nobler in the mind of man to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, moderation, or to take up arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing, end them. And I go for that. If you take up arms, you'll end it. But if you sit around and wait for the one who's, who's in power to make up his mind that he should end it, you'll be waiting a long time. And in my opinion, the young generation of whites, blacks, brown, whatever else there is, you're living at a time of extremism, a time of revolution, a time when there's got to be a change. People in power have misused it, and now there has to be a change, and a better world has to be built, and the only way it's going to be built with it, with it, it, with, is with extreme methods. And I, for one, will join in with anyone, don't care what color you are, as long as you want to change this miserable condition that exists on this earth.